What is going on all you beautiful wizards out there and today it is Daniel Giant Color from the Giant Color Club here on my Myth Wizard and today we're gonna be doing Winter Bane. So Winter Bane gives level 8 mega snacks and these level 8 snacks give 25 pet experience which is pretty good since you can just get them for free and so we're gonna be doing this today just to get some snacks. So I usually farm these when I do not have any snacks from my magma pea farm or my couch potato farm. And this is just to get some extra ones. So what you're going to want to do is come to this castle tour place. Click press X to talk to her. Visit castle. Top rated. Top rated again. And you're going to want to look for watchtower hall. So I found one right here. And I'm going to go to it. And then the second thing you want to do is find the Winterbane um, dungeon kind of thing. So this is the one right here, Winterbane Hall. And so what we are going to be doing is I'm going to be going in with my brother Boris. Yes, Boris, what a beast. And Gilroy. So these two, um, we have one really low level, which makes the mob spawn pretty low. Level 6. Rocking the heart steel, so we're that high Razazel. And Gilroy here is level 25, I'm pretty sure. And we're gonna be going in. We tell them let's go. Why wouldn't let me go in? There we go. And we're off. So I'm gonna be rolling some critical gear for this so I can get get through it a bit quicker. And usually it takes us around 20, maybe 20 minutes to do the whole dungeon, which is pretty short. Fix up the deck. I usually just change up my deck while going through it, depending on the mods or the spawns. So for this, I'm just rolling three uh, colossals and three mongo frogs. Just so we can kill them. The base damage kills. So if you're wondering, Gilroy is rolling the pony pet. It has nine nine resist, eight balance damage, may cast amplify and gives the muscled cat, which is a pretty good spell, considering it's only five peps. And my brother is rolling a starfish. I'm pretty sure he just has this just for the resist. And it has, yeah, because he's got that that, that, that health and ice accuracy. <laughs> All right, so we do get the one shot off. Pretty simple for the first first set of monsters. These guys will not drop the snacks, but all the bosses coming or er, after these will drop. So usually if you don't get um if you don't get a level 8 mega snack you'll probably end up getting a level 7 one which is like 10 10 pet experience which is pretty good. Let me turn down my volume real fast. Better. Oh wait, so I'm gonna change my deck up again, I'm gonna put in some converts. And that should be good. So this guy, what he's gonna do after, I'm pretty sure it's three or three or four rounds, is what he's gonna stun us. So my brother has stun blocks, which I'm not sure he didn't draw them this turn, I guess, but he will put stun block on me so I can kill, so I don't have to get stunned, which is pretty good. Next turn, and he does put up that tower shield, which kind of sucks, but. I'll remove it. So I'm pretty sure I'm rolling 269 crit to myth, which is pretty good, I guess. And so let me enchant that and a wand for the boss just to remove that power, actually. I'll blade up and I'll tell Gilroy to remove it. Yeah, so I'll blade up. And so I'm pretty sure that my uh, brother has the stun resist. Yeah, it's on his wand. So he got this wand, 
it gives the stun block and the six cards to ice. This is a level, it's for, you can wear it at any level, I guess. All the way from level one to 100. And he got this wand from this dungeon. I'm pretty sure he has a lot of gear from, no, that gear's not from that. You get some okay stuff from this dungeon, gear-wise, for the levels. So I put that 40 blade up, I got that from my amulet, I'm pretty sure. I have 140 for my amulet, 135 for my pet, and then usually I'll put in a 35 just for my school, and then another 35 from the spiritual blade, I think it's called. Okay, so I should be good to go to hit now. Oh yes, and Boris is telling Gilroy that one of the last bosses, which is an ice boss, his name is Joe Cool. <laughs> Joe Cool. <laughs> and if you use fire on him, he will, um, it's called Snowball, I'm pretty sure. Or... Ah, uh, what's the ice spell? It's a hit all ice spell. I don't remember what it's called now. But once we get up to Joko, I'll remind us again. Remind him again. So if I get. Oh, it puts a weakness on. It sucks. So I do get the critical. And if it gets on, it'll. might. cheat. Oh wow, just a little off. So, I'm pretty sure maybe someone else hit... Oh, it's called Blizzard, that's the worst thing. The spell's called Blizzard. So, did anyone hit boss? Maybe this will be a kill? Ah, oh, you didn't hit him. Sitting at 160, maybe if we all wand, we can kill. Oh, he's gonna stun. Uh oh. That's okay for me though, so. Is he gonna stun us? I'm pretty sure he stuns. Stuns twice, so he's gonna stun them. But I have that block, so I'm, I'm gonna be fine. Stuns them and then he'll stun them again to take off the shield. It's gonna Humongo Frog right now. Or he takes off the stun. Now he remits. <laughs> stun block is OP. I almost killed him there with my wand. Okay, so now we should be fine to kill. 96 health, nothing. Alright, so what snacks did we get? Oh, I didn't even kill him with a wand. <laughs> Alright, so his pet cast may cast Amplify. <laughs> Alright, so from that we... What do we get? We got, I'm pretty sure we got nothing. We got nothing from the first boss, which kinda sucks. But maybe these guys will tell us if they got anything. Hey, what 
notches in the dark. Alright, so once you come up to these guys, these Noma, well, I don't even know, these Noma guys, what you're gonna wanna do is get this thing wrong. You're not gonna wanna do the stew properly. You're gonna wanna get it wrong. So you can pick anyone but butter, because butter is the crack. So I'm gonna go with fish. Because these guys even have a chance of dropping my ghost as well. So Gilroy, where the heck is this guy? Alright, so I'm just gonna pass. Wait for him. And they stun me first turn. Alright, kidding. One of them's gonna tower. Ah. Enchant that. This guy using it. Yeah, I see these guys really got neat. These guys, both of them got one, which is nice. Lucky them. So I'm gonna hit with my frog, and Boris is pulling out the Stormbird. You know, it's out two pips. <laughs> so like, one guy has that power shield. If I crit on him, it should be okay. If I don't crit on him, which is not good. Wow, that was pretty neat. Alright, so, do draw our frog, and that is going to be GG unless I fizzle. Hopefully we'll get neat from this run. These two guys to make up for the last. And we do pull a seven. We got one seven there and a peppercorn there. So we got two sevens from that one, which is okay, I guess. On to the next boss, gonna pull up one of the Minotaurs. So what this guy does is, on the first turn he's gonna put a 30 weakness on us. So what I'm gonna do is wand first. See there it is, so 30. I think I'm gonna wand and then maybe hit next. These guys' spells take so long. Maybe Boris will have a, a storm a storm bird to hit next. 
No, he doesn't. Alright, so... I'm gonna put this enchant on the Minotaur and then get hit with my frog. So if I critical, it might be huge, and we do, so I think it should be, or if not, it might be just a bit under. No, that's enough. So hopefully you will get an 8 from this boss. Not having much luck this run. Alright, so, let's see what we got. Alright, so we did not get one. We got a, a sick salmon berry, which is very disappointing. <laughs> Alright, so we come, we came to Joe Cool. Joe Cool, I don't know how to say this guy's name. Gotta put one more Colossal in my deck. And let's go. So Boris is saying is no fire. So if anyone hits him with fire, anything, he's gonna cast a blizzard on us. Which I guess is like it. It's pretty weak, but like since considering I'm with all these low level guys, it's a pretty big hit on them. Hooks me up with the stun block, not sure why. Never really stun. Love these traps and these converts in here. Hmm. I think if I hit, I might kill. Hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna humongo frog, and then I'm gonna hopefully draw another. I don't. I want to knock perhaps a little light next turn. Oh, well, we're clutching it. Come on, please critical, and we do get the critical off. How much damage are we gonna do? We're probably gonna do just under three k. I couldn't see how much it was inside him. Okay, so he's sitting at 278 health. If we all want, we should kill. Well, Boris will pull out some, some life imp, you know? <laughs> yes, five life imp OP. And I think that should do it. Yeah, it does. So hopefully this run we can get an 8. <laughs> so, let's see what we got with Link saying. So, we got an 8, finally. So, we got bad hun honeyed, honeyed dates. Yeah, bad honeyed dates. So, it's a 25 life 8, which is pretty cool. So first eight, not too bad. Get rid of my convert. I'll we'll put a life. I'm gonna put a sprite in just in case. And so let's go. So having some lagging, which is weird. My blade up. Uh, 
Pet cast, main cast, amplify, I'm pretty sure, yeah. This leg is terrible. So, I'm gonna enchant my frog, and we're gonna go for the clutch hit. Hit with my frog, and we should should kill the minions no matter what, because of the boost and the blade. So we do get the critical off, which is great. Two K two hundred, which is pretty good. Three K to the storm, guys. Uh oh, did you get with fire? Okay, good. Got my sprite there just in case anyone dies. Alright, so I'm gonna hit him with the wand and hopefully we'll draw. I will get a power pip next turn so I can hit with my Minotaur. Alright, so we did get enough for our Minotaur, but I'm pretty sure that it's not going to break through those absorbs. I'm the first one going to bleed up, and then I'll hit next. Alright, so we're ready to hit. Let me enchant this. Look at this, he's hitting with his Thunderbird. Pretty sick. Let's so get the critical. And we do. So that should be Geech. And we don't break through any observers with the first hit. Second hit does, and just under. So hopefully one of you guys will kill. And there's that lag again. And that does kill. So we're gonna get an eight from the last guy. Too busy lagging. So I'm pretty sure we did. We got the dates again. Stupid lag. So there you can see the bad honey dates. We got a wand as well, so we got the Nevermore Talon. Gives that stun. Pretty cool. You get any more? Nah. So overall we got two eights, which is actually pretty good. That's two twenty-five snack, which is pretty good. And that's gonna wrap up the video. So Hope you enjoyed. That was Daniel Giant Color from the Giant Color Club, and I will see you later.